Wow, grade 11. I mean, I really thought that you would have remembered something. Synonyms and antonyms context clues. Good job. Awesome. 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 Contrast with right. statements. You are correct. Inference. Yes. It's very good, Aniola and Rika. Good job. Definition. Yes, you guys are on the right track. Good job. Now, so today our objectives, before we get into exactly what we're going to cover today, good job, students. We're going to look at our, our objectives for the day. Students will be able to define the term context. Students will be able to recall the definition of context clues. Students will be able to accurately explain the purpose of context clues and the types covered during the lesson. And students will be able to use context clues to determine the meaning of new challenging words. Now, when we talk about context clues, can someone tell me what is a context clue? What is a context clue? I see someone have here just popped up. Context clues are hints found within a sentence or paragraph. Good job. Hints of what? What are the hints doing? Oh, what is the purpose of having a hint in the sentence? To do what? Anyone else reply? I'm just walking because I can't see unless it pop up. Yeah, I'm checking right now. Uh, I see um, hints. Uh, con uh, context clues are hints found within the sentence or paragraph. Okay. Hints from Paris. Um, um, er er uh -huh. I'm listening. Yeah, to predict the story, to understand the meaning of the word. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To find out the meaning, Sandy, of an unknown word or words. Good job, Sandy. Find the meaning of new words. Yes, you are correct. All right, so you guys are all of you on the right track. Context clues are hints, and you guys said the correct word, good, found within a sentence, paragraph, or passage that a reader can use to understand the meaning of new or unfamiliar words. Now, you know, a lot of time we tell you guys, okay, there's no reason for you. Sometimes when you read a passage or you read a sentence, you know, sometimes a lot of you like to say, oh, let me go to the dictionary. No, you don't always need the dictionary. The meaning of the word majority, if not all the time, is always in the sentence or sentences around that particular word or sentence, okay? That actually can define them or give you the meaning of that particular word that you are not aware of or the word that you don't know or word that you find hard or unfamiliar to you, okay? Now, what is a context? Context means the setting or situation of a word or event. It gives meaning to everything we say or do. So, you know, sometimes you would hear I'll say, you know, it's not what you said, but it's the context of what you're trying to explain. It's exactly what you said or certain words that you said, you know, certain things that you can say to individuals may be frustrating. Like it says here, if your friend is furious at you, for calling her your worst enemy. Remind her the context of those remarks was opposite day. Now, I don't know if that will work, but I'm sure when you said she's your worst or your, she's your worst enemy or you're her worst enemy, clearly red flags went up, okay? Is walking some students still can't get in? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm sending the link right now to the, to the, to the. Okay. Okay, so remember, context means the setting or situation of a word or event. That's very important so you could understand exactly what context clues are.
All right. When the large boulder fell off the high cliff, it made a thunderous sound. We can tell. Oh, gee, see, it already showed it, Mr. Walking. What's that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay. So basically, thunderous. Well, we have the word there. Thunderous means what? Based on you reading it, it's telling you that thunderous means loud. Okay. So identifying the words or to help help you determine the meaning, large boulder fell off on high cliff. So you know if a large boulder fell off a high cliff, clearly you know that the sound is going to be loud. Good job, students. Good job. I see someone said loud. Okay, let's move on. Mr. So Walken, I think some of these I'm going to go through. Okay. Okay, so additional examples of context. Yelling move is rude in one context, like if you're if it's your little brother standing in the front of the TVS. I'm sure you guys love to use the word move, but it's ex entirely appropriate at a fire scene when a wall is coming down. Most actions would be judged appropriate in some contexts, but wrong in some in other contexts. So that is true. So it depends on how you're using the word and the reason you're using the word. So here it is, if you're telling your little brother, move from in front of the TV. Yes, you're being rude, right? You didn't have to say move. You can say, please excuse, or can you go on the side? But if you're trying to help someone and something is going to happen and you say, move, you're assisting. It's not as harsh or it isn't used in a, it isn't used to be mean, you know? It isn't used for you to say, be rude to that person. It's just that you're trying to help. Say, no, Bahamian will do that. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. So that's a good one. Was the video supposed to be here? Or did I think that's just a blank screen, eh? Yeah, it's probably, yeah. Uh... Okay, so context clues. After several days of climbing, the group finally reached the mountain's apex. What does apex mean? Students, can you put it inside the chat? What do you think apex mean? What do you think? Read, listen to the sentence, or loud read the sentence again. Someone said, top, top, top. Several days of climbing, the group finally reached the mountain's apex. Everyone is saying top. Am I correct? Yeah, someone said peak, but it should be P E A K. Remember, we did. Remember, we did homonyms and homographs. Remember your spelling. You guys, you see how you see how English comes together every yes, time. Yes. All the spells right. come together. Good job. They made the correction. <laughs> there to go, guys. Kareem said hi. Kareem said highest point. All right. Okay, let's see. Apex means the peak, summit, crest, top of a mountain or hill. You guys were all correct. Good job. Good job. This picture turning around and on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, which parts of the sentence help you to figure the meaning of APEC? I think I gave it away. Which words in the sentence indicated what the meaning of the word APEC was? Or to figure out the meaning of the word. Anyone? After several days of climbing, they finally, all right, finally. Good anyone job, else? Is you see anything else? 
Hold on. Um, I see highest. I see. Well, they're still talking about. Oh, wait, sorry. Someone said hi. Uh, finally. Finally. Mountain. Mm -hmm. Someone said mountain. And I guess that's true because mountain gives you a lot of context. That's right. It does. All right. So the words after several days, I think someone had that. Good job. Finally. And mountain. Mountain, all aid and providing a necessary context for the word or the meaning of the word apex. You guys are correct. Good job, grade 11. Now, today we're going to look at different types of context clues. We're going to look at a few today. And then next week, we're going to look at some more, okay? But we're only going to cover a few today. Now, can someone tell me who these two gentlemen... <laughs> Do you know these faces? Let's see if I'm they can sure get they're it. very familiar. I'm, I'm sure you know them. Can you can you hear me? Yes, yeah. I can hear you now. Okay. Ugh, I was trying. We were talking all that time. All that time. You were talking. <laughs> yes. Um. Somebody <laughs> says apocalypse and Thanos, Hulk, and Hulk. 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 What? Hulk. Dark side and Thanos. Dark. Oh, yes, yeah, that's right. Dark side. That, that's how they pronounce it, dark side. No, yeah, they stay pronounce it like that, even though it's it's spelled differently. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, they they call them dark side, but they spell it S E I D or something like that. Yeah, of, oh, yeah, that's how they spell it. Yeah, that's All cool. right. Okay, so these are some familiar faces to you. So now let's go into comparison or contrast clues. Okay. Sometimes a sentence will provide a comparison or contrast that would help you understand the meaning of the word. Sometimes an unusual word is followed by an antonym or synonym that can help the reader figure out what the unusual word means. Now, when we talk about compare and contrast, can you give me some similarities of Thanos and dark side? Even I just learned who he was this morning, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Okay, Laurent says that they are both villains. They oh, are right. Evil. What about their looks? What? Are, yes. What, what? What do you see that's ah, they looks? are. They are both big men. Very good. Okay. They are both big. They are huge. Yes. They have a lot of muscles. They're good. I see someone said they are evil. Okay. Anyone else? You see anything else different? Anything Lebron based on says the picture? They are bald. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They both look scary. All right. They are colorful. I see, I think I see someone said they both have steel armor or something. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? I think Brittany's saying something about her screen. Let me move and then come back. They both have watching. Uh, don't, don't, don't. They, yeah. What about the eyes? You don't see nothing different. What does, how is dark side eyes? Well, okay, so we're looking at differences now. So let's look at contrast. What do you see different about dark side and Thanos? What are differences? Do you see anything that's different about them? Okay. Uh, one has red eyes. Okay. One someone said someone said one is green and one is purple. Called um, D'Angelo. Dark side is way more powerful. Okay. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, even though I'm just learning about them. But they, okay. have, they have different abilities. That's, that's correct. All right. That's awesome. All right. Good job. So good. So this is how we use comparison or contrast context clues when we're actually writing. Okay. The exact same way you guys were able to say the differences between these characters. This is how we use context clues in sentences. 
So let's move on. So let's look at an example. So let's look at some key words that you would see in a sentence that can help you, um, that can help you identify certain words and to show comparison or contrast, okay? So words like, like, similar to, but, although, also, unlike, however, related, resembling, rather than, on the other hand, but not, although, however, on the other hand, and in contrast and instead. So example of one of the comparison and contrast context clue sentence. I will read it aloud. She was often a truculent, as truculent as a quarrelsome child. On the other hand, she could be as amiable as a puppy. Now, can someone tell me what they think the word truculent mean? What do you think truculent mean? Violent, rude, short temper. Anyone else? Aggressive. Anyone else? All right, so you guys are on the right track. Argumentative, mean, aggressive. Why? Because yeah, someone said something. That was just, no, that's just me telling them good job. Okay, okay. Good job, good job. Amiable because amiable means friendly and lovable. So, you know, and what word? What words in this sentence actually identified or show that this is a compare and contrast? What words did they use in a sentence to show that this was a compare and contrast, students? Compare and contrast sentence or context clue. As, as, on the other hand, yes, you guys are on the right track. Good job, students. Good job. On the other hand, on the other hand, as you are correct. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to move on. Okay, so example two of comparison and contrast context clue sentence. Unlike her gregarious sister, Karen. A must, Karen. Oh, Dennis. Karen's today, but <laughs> <laughs> unlike her gregarious sister, Karen, Amanda preferred to remain at home every weekend. What does gregarious mean? What do you think gregarious mean? Any answers yet? I don't see anything pop up on the side of my screen as yet. I'm checking right now. Uh, I don't see anything either. Okay, someone just sent something. Uh, sociable, Crystal said sociable. Sandy said light company. Kania said outgoing. Okay. I think I see one. Someone said like company. No, uh, Malia says not at home a lot. Um, oh, Miracle. <laughs> I see someone else said. Miracle says wild. Yeah, Paris said fond of people. Denisha said outgoing. Paige said adventurous. Good job, students. All right, you guys are on the right track. So Leah and Aniola say fond of company. All Laurent right. Party girl. Party girl. <laughs> so all of you, yes, you're correct. Outgoing and sociable. Awesome, okay. guys. So if her sister Amanda is an introvert, that means Karen is a what? I mean, sorry, Amanda prefers to remain at home. She's an introvert. What is Karen? Someone said, um, can you said extrovert? Extrovert. You are correct. Good job. Great. Awesome, guys. So we rolling with the homies. One loves to party and the other one loves to stay home and play video games. She looks like she's in the groove. What she's playing? Look like Destiny. 
I don't know, maybe. Maybe, but she's playing a game and right now she's just loving it. Okay? So good job, students. Now, when we talk about synonym or restatement clue, now remember we said that we're making connections. Synonym or restatement clue. What do you think synonym or restatement clue mean? What do you think synonym or restatement clue is referring to or talking about? What do you think this particular clue will be about based on the words that you see or based on what the name, the name of it? Anyone out? Anyone? I don't see anything pop up as yet. You see any answers yet, Miss Tudor, Miss Walking? Uh Toot, we can't hear you. Your mic is mute. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> okay. One uh no, no one has said anything. Someone said similar in meaning. Kenia said similar in meaning. Okay. Uh Laurent said I was similar meaning. All right. Okay, so let's see, let's move on. All right, sometimes the author uses a word having the same or nearly the same meaning as another word or other words in a sentence. Okay, so remember we talk about synonyms, right? Have the same or nearly the same meaning as another word, okay? Good, so when we talk about restatement punctuations, we have commas, semicolon dashes or parentheses restatement signal words so we have some signal words that would indicate that this is synonym synonym or restatement clue or that is or in other words good job i see other persons putting up good job or you are correct So let's look at an example. Carnivores, that is meat eaters, are the top of the food chain. I think I moved that too fast. No, I think it came up. All right, what is a carnivore, students? Put in the chat, what is a carnivore? Mr. Walking, I think you may be in the wrong chat. No, I'm right. I know. I can see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, Eric said meat eaters. Meat eaters. Anyone else? Meat eaters. Sandy said the same thing. All right. You guys are correct. All right. D'Angelo says an animal that eats meat. All right. Ian Blenny, I don't know who that is. Um, meat eaters. Ron says a thing that only eats meats. Okay. And normally they say who are who's at the top of the food chain? Who's at the top of the food chain? Humans, yes. You are correct. We are at the top of the food chain, unfortunately. I mean, you know, it's a it's a good thing, I guess. Yeah, that, that's a that's a really good thing. We'd be in trouble. <laughs> We eat them, they don't eat us. Oh, Lord. I, I didn't want to say that out loud. My apologies. An animal that eats meat. You are can, correct. Can you hear me? I can yeah. hear you now. Where have you been? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Technical difficulties on my end. I know. <laughs> I couldn't see the slides. I had to go use a different... Okay, you cut back off just now. I don't know if you know that. I had to use... I had to sign into a different device. I couldn't. Oh, anything. yeah. Okay. We can see you though. We can see you. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. So good job, students. Now let's look at another example. My best friend squandered, or in other words, wasted all of his earnings drinking and gambling. What does squandered mean? What do you think the word squandered mean? Anyone, let's see these answers. Let's let's go, let's go. I see one pop up. Someone say loose. What do you mean by loose? Wasted. I Wasted. think we mean 
they may mean loose with money, like, you know, not careful with it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I wanted them to explain, but I totally understand now. Foolish manner. Okay, all right. Chardonnay, we're on the, um, which slide is this? Wasteful, this is slide 16. We're on slide 16, um, Chardonnay. Wasteful, wasted his money foolishly. Okay, let's see if you guys are correct. Oh, I don't think the answer showed up. But you guys are correct. Yes. Wasted. Reckless. You are, you guys are right. So yes, wasted is a word that actually is the exact same meaning as squandered. Now, can someone tell me in the sentence, can you give me one or two of the signal words that are in the sentence that indicated that this was a contrast sentence. What words did we run over in the previous slide? In other words, anyone else? Laurent said, in other words, um, Eric said, or. Okay. Julia said, in other words, good job, guys. Good job, good job. Head of the class, head of the class. Good job, students, you're on the right track. So we're gonna continue with the examples. After seeing the picture of the starving children, we felt compassion or pity for their suffering. What is compassion, students? What do you think compassion means? Uh, D'Angelo says sympathy, Laurent says care. Okay, but based Soft -hearted. on hearted, what word, okay, so let me reword this. What word in the sentence tells you what compassion means or another word in the sentence that indicates what compassion means? But you guys, yes, you're on the right track. You see anything, Ms. Two? Um, they're saying pity. All right. Anything else? Pity, pity. I, I keep saying pity. You guys are okay. You're on the right track. Sympathy, concern, suffering. One moment for me, Ms. Two. Can you continue for me, please? Just on this one. One moment. I'm trying to bring it up again. I can, I can, I can do it. Okay. All right. Um, after, all right, so let's look at the second example. It says, after a time, uh, glaciers or slow moving rivers of ice formed over. Whoops. Formed over many parts of the earth. What are glaciers? All right, I see a mass of ice. All right, Delia says ice, but looking at the sentence, I mean, you're correct. All right, rivers of ice, yes. Okay, so glaciers actually either, they are huge chunks of ice that make up large rivers of ice um, that break off from like, um, like, Sheets of ice. Okay, so yes, glaciers are rivers of ice. Okay. All right, good job, guys. Okay, thank you, Miss Joaquin. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, students. You guys did an awesome job. And also, we have our word there that indicated. Remember, you have your word that indicate or your statement clue that indicates that this is a comparison or contrast right and that the word is smack dab in the middle of the two words can one person give me the word 
so we can move on. Good job, or oh, you are correct. Good job, students. Very good. Now, contrast. Oh, Antonym. Lord. Now, let's look at this picture. <laughs> we won't go into politics, right? Not today. Now, what? Okay, this is a recording, so some of you may say some stuff. I may write some stuff. Okay, so we are doing contrast antonym. Now, what did we say antonym is? What is an antonym? What did we say what is an antonym? <laughs> Oh, really? Come on. I know, I know, I know. I, I'm not going to say it, but I, I saw it in the slide just now. Okay. <laughs> the opposite. Yes, the opposite or what? Nearly the opposite in meaning, which is contrast, right? Okay, so now let's look at the clue. So we have yin and yang. Sometimes a word or phrase is clarified by the presentation of the opposite meaning somewhere close to its use. Look for signal words or keywords when applying context clues for contrast. Now, contrasting signal words for antonyms include even though, so I'm gonna read the signal words for antonyms or contrast clues. Even though, however, in contrast, unlike, but, and different. So these are some of your signal words that you will see in a contrast or antonym clue sentence, okay? All right. Okay, so example, David wanted to go Clothes shopping at their haberdashery, but Angela wanted to shop at the boutique. Can someone tell me what is haberdashery? What do you think haberdashery mean? Based on how it's used in a sentence, I'm going to read the sentence again. David wanted to go clothes shopping at the haberdashery, but Angela wanted to shop at the boutique. Debriana says men's. Which one? Which one is men's clothing? Um, Debriana, Analia. Denisha says a thrift store. Okay. All right. Leah says the haberdashery is for men's clothing. Okay, okay. Anyone else? Think about it now. Think about it. We're talking about David and Angela. David wanted to go to the haberdashery, but Angela wanted to go to the boutique. Now, what do you think haberdashery means? Oh, what do you think word is using for the opposite? What word would be the opposite of haberdashery in the sentence? So let's see. In the U.S., haberdashery is a store that specializes in men's clothing. So guys, yes, you are correct. Haberdashery is a men clothing and accessory store. Who said that? Good job. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And what word was used to signal? What words were used in the sentence to actually signal that haberdashery was the opposite of boutique? Someone Christelle said. says, but. But, good job. Anyone else? Boutique, yes, because you know a boutique is a store for women. You always hear women say, I'm going to go to the boutique. I'm going to go to the boutique. Boutique, 
normally specializes in or specialize only in women clothing. But you guys are correct, as well as clothes. So if he's saying he wants to go to the clothes shop, he wants to go to the haberdashery, and she wants to go to boutique, you automatically know that they're talking about clothing because it says clothes, okay? Good job, students. You're on the right track. All right, examples continue. Okay, example, the children were as different as day and night. He was a lively conversationalist, but she was reserved and taciturn. I will read the sentence again for those who may not be able to see. The children were as different as night and day. He was a lively conversationalist, but she was reserved and a taciturn. Now, I know that's a big word. That's a big word. Some of us have never seen this word before. You may not even use it. But, sorry, Lord Jesus, why do them just walking in? Anyway, I don't, no. some, <laughs> I don't think some of them saw. No. What do you think taciturn means? Any answers there? Pop, 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 is there? Um, Christelle said quiet. Um, okay. Brittany Anyone said else? quiet. Uh, Nestia said untalkative. Okay. Um, Sandy says don't like to talk much. Okay. Untalkative. Um, Paris says quite uncommunicative. Okay. okay. You sounded like a counselor in here. March I, I know. <laughs> I know. Okay, Aaliyah says not talkative. Aniola says reserved or right. uncommunicative. Laurent says mute. Kareem says silent or right. quiet. Good job, guys. Very good. Awesome. Awesome. So wow. You guys, yes. This is a reticent. Okay. Listen to me. This is a big word you guys are using. So these small yeah, words we're using today. Tight so lips. You guys know these words. Dumb. Anti-social. Dumb. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so taciturn means quiet or uncommunicative. Yes, you guys are correct. And what word in the sentence actually signals that they were both the opposite of each other? Remember, we said certain things can be in the sentence or around the sentence. Someone said they went on Google. That's okay. That's okay. At least you're trying. But you guys are correct. Now, is there something in the other sentence that showed you or that indicated that this was going to be a contrast or antonym clue? Because remember I said, sometimes it's not, you can read sentences around that particular sentence if you're reading a passage or a paragraph. So someone said different. Yes, different can actually be one of the words because it said the children were as different as night and day. And then it went on into the sentence. So it indicates that, okay, if they were as different as night or day, that means they're the total opposite of each other. Okay, good job, students. You are correct. Oh, my gosh. Isn't this the gentleman from <laughs> Dennis the Man? All right, good job, students. So we only have a few more minutes, so let's see if we could get through. That's it, Mr. Joaquin. I think we're wrapping up today. Yes, on time. All right, now it's your turn. All right, that's all, folks.
Okay, good. You guys did excellent today. You did excellent today. Now let's recall, let's recap. What are the, or what is context clues? Let's see if you guys can remember. What is context clues? <clears throat> We're gonna recap on what we learned. Hints, yes. That's one of the words we went through, yes. Hints. Hints, good. Yes. A hint to find a meaning of a word. It's additional okay. information. Okay. Anything else besides hint? And yes, hint is one. You are correct with that. But hints to do what? Laurent the, the says words are phrases that help you to know the meaning of a word. Okay, okay, good. So words or phrases that help you find the meaning of new or unfamiliar words. So you guys are correct. Hints within a sentence or paragraph, etc., to help you find the meaning of a new word. You guys are on the right track. Good job, good job. So that means you were paying attention. Now, okay, so we already know what context clues mean. What are the type or what types of context clues we went through today? What context clues did we learn today in class? Contrast clue, very good. good Example, job. comparison and contrast. Okay. Synonym and restatement. Good job. Antonym, good. All right, compare and contrast, synonym, yes, your statement. Good, you guys, that's right. Good job, students, good job. Okay, good. So you guys, we did, you did well today. I'm so proud of you guys because you paid attention and what I'm really proud of you is that majority of you, if not all of you, were actually being very active in the chat today. Yes. Give yourselves a round of applause. I mean, you really blew my mind today when you guys were very active in the chat. That's very good. That means you're paying attention to the lesson. Okay? Good job. Good job, grade 11. Um, yes, courtesy of Mr. Walk-In. Um, yes. It's a very, very excellent presentation. Awesome. I don't know if my presentation will be this good, but, you know, I will try to live up to the standard that we're seeing at this very moment. <laughs> Mr. Walkie, someone say, yeah, boy, Mr. Walkie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so yes, Mr. Walkie did an excellent job. It's very interactive, it's an awesome presentation. Remember that you'll be able to view this presentation um, at a later date. Yes. And also for those of you um, who are saying that you're not sure who class you're in, I'm not sure if it's grade 11 as well, but those of you who are not sure what class you're in, we are going to have your classes for Monday. We're going to officially have that done for Monday for you. So if you're not sure what class you're in or if your name, you didn't see your name on the list, um, I think Ms. Tooby can go back in this chat and look, right? We can go back. Yes, and it should be there. And I posted um, a list earlier in this uh, session. Okay. For my students, um, grade 11, in my section, they have yet to join the Google Classroom. There are assignments posted. So yes. please join the class so you can complete your assignments by this weekend. Yes, and some deadlines have already been passed. Okay, so please join the classes and those of you who are not sure, sure what class you're in uh, because you didn't see your name on the list, um, put it in the chat now, put your name and put, yeah, just put your name. 